Hi Digmates! So thanks to Alex, our developer, and many of our other Digmates who have been helping us in our development process, we now have a new base core and firmware version with lots of improvements and bug fixes. You can download the latest version in the link in the description below. Please don't forget to update your keyboard's firmware as well so that all of the new improvements and bug fixes can be applied to your keyboard. So what are the new improvements? Well, we've added a new configuration option for the Q keys. The Q keys is a plugin that allows you to overload the keys on your keyboard. Now, this includes the dual function keys and basically any key that you can tap or hold and have two different functions. We've added an option for you to adjust the time for the when held action. We've also added new configuration options for the mouse keys, as well as added a search box on top of the key configuration menu so that you can easily search for the keys you're looking for. Most importantly, we've fixed the freezing issue which we talked about in the previous video. Please check it out so you can learn about the story that almost ended Digma. Wow, we solved it, so don't worry. Other than that, we've also increased the number of macros to 64. So for those who were asking for more macros to be applied on their keyboard, now you have the solution, 64 macros. I hope that's enough. We also fixed some color problems when dimming the keyboard on the red color. And we also solved an issue that Basecore had when launched on Linux. If you're interested and would like to help, we always ask our community on Reddit their ideas and their suggestions to help us improve Basecore. For our future plans, we are currently working on a new UI that will solve a lot of stability issues. Once we have that launched, it will allow us to develop more features quicker. We hope to show you a working beta version in one to two weeks time. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Adios!